Howdy folks, TJ here, video time. I made a pickup today. Atari. As you know, if you've watched my videos, I started out Atari. And even though most of my videos in the last two years has been mostly Sinclair related, doesn't mean I don't love Atari still. Saw an ad in the local Craigslist, no pictures, about a week ago. Said Atari, I think it just said computer, monitor, and megafile. As soon as I heard the word megafile, I knew what that was because my first Atari was a Mega 2 ST back in 1990. Always wanted to get one of these. I actually had one, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I wasn't using it. It was a pretty yellowed case. Sold it on eBay or something for a few bucks, figuring somebody could get use out of it. But now that I'm getting back into the retro computers, when I saw that, I wanted to get it mainly for the Mega 2 or, you know, this Mega File 30 for the Mega 2. That was my main goal. I think he was asking $100 for a computer. His ad just said, great condition. Well, they're not. <laughs> uh, but like anything, you take it with a grain of salt. And then after he took pictures, quickly saw that it's missing the 6 key yellowing on keys monitor they have mice problems i live out in the country so i'm quite aware of what mice and rats can do so the megafile and 1040 actually came with boxes holes in the boxes mice poop in the boxes kind of something that you get familiar with when you live out in the country the best you can do is kind of try to maintain the population keep it low so you don't have as much damage these guys obviously, this just sat out in the garage forever. And so I did get the box, but more than likely, I may save it just because I don't have a Mega 30 file um, box. But it, it's got a big hole in it about this big. Looks like it may have had some water damage at some point. Who knows? But anyway, I was thinking, nah, for 100 bucks, not worth it. It was about 45 minutes down the hill. So I said, you know, after looking at the pictures when you said it was in great condition, $100 would have been fine. But in the condition that it was in, it wasn't worth the long drive for me. And so I said, well, if you ever decide to, you know, lower the price a little bit, let me know. And he said, make an offer. So I made an offer of 50 bucks, which is really cheap. I, I do agree with that. But at the same time, if, by the time I pay gas for a vehicle that has 15 miles to the gallon, going down the hill, picking it up and all that, and really the thing that I wanted was just this one thing, I figured this would be worth 50 bucks. Unknown condition doesn't have the cable, no power cord, nothing. So I said, yeah, 50 bucks is worth it. So I made the offer and he said, nah, the lowest I can go is 80 bucks. Uh, a couple of days later, he emailed and said his uh, girlfriend just wants him to get rid of the stuff and he agreed to the $50. So I said, okay, cool. I'll come down and pick it up this morning. He was having a garage sale. So it worked out, got it home and actually so far it works. I did one quick little boot up just to make sure the mega file doesn't have a cable, and I'm going to have to see if I have one laying around someplace. I don't know if I do, but I had a spare power cord laying around, and I just wanted to hear if it whirs up and you hear the, the hard drive spin up. So I stuck a power cord to it in the kitchen. Guess what? It did. Nice old, probably a Seagate in there or something. Whee! Spins up, and it sounds like initialized and power lights on it, and so possibility I might have, and this is fairly clean, the box sucked, but the, the, the thing itself is fairly clean. Uh, so I might be able to clean it up and use it on my Mega 2. Awesome. So then I deviated to, well, let's actually see if this computer boots. Monitor is really dirty, and it looks like it's got some phosphor stuff going on inside. And uh, so I wasn't even going to try it, but I thought, eh, what the heck, we'll make a video, try it out. So I plugged this in, blew out the cords a little bit, turned it on, and guess what? 1040 actually booted up. Floppy did its thing. Don't know how clean or dirty it is, but it did its thing. And I got video and I got a desktop. The mouse that came with it wouldn't go, didn't work right. I have Atari, plenty of stuff laying around, so I put my own mouse on it. So we're going to do a second boot. This is not a first boot going, ah, oh, it works. <coughs> but I thought I'd do a quick little pan around. Hey, for 50 bucks, I got a 1040 ST. It's going to need some repair. The key is just not missing, but it looks like it's broken the uh, unit in here, but it actually does work. 
So maybe I could pull this little plunger thing. I've got a 520ST out in the garage. I don't know if it uses the same plunger deal, but maybe I can swap a few parts and make a 1040ST out of it. That works fully. Anyway, let's go ahead and start it. Well, let me pan around, show you what I received, and then we'll do a, a quick little boot, and then we'll call, the, call it a video. So let me grab the camera. Weesh. So what did I get? So here's the 1040ST. Video may be showing it's nicer than it is, but you can see it's got lots of dirt and mice have been probably on this thing. Keys, uh, you know, probably from the video you can see there's some yellowing, but it's not drastically bad. Um, so there's the 1040. The biggest thing is that key. I was afraid that it just wouldn't work, period, but it did. I haven't checked all the keys yet, but anyway. And then I got an SC, the standard SC1224. And you're not going to be able to see it, but there's some phosphor burn crap stuff going on in there. But it actually works. So, cool. You know, at worst, I've got another SC1224. If one of them goes, maybe I can use it for parts or something. So, there's the monitor. And then this is the main thing I wanted, the Mega File. I want this for my Mega 2 ST. And it's overall in pretty good shape. And like I said, it does power up. No idea if it works, but... At a minimum, it will be a, a monitor stand for me to put my mono monitor on because I have both mono and color for my, my STs. So anyway, uh, this is my mouse, nice clean one. The mouse that came with it uh, seemed clean, but maybe just a, a good mouse ball cleaning might help, but it wasn't tracking left or doing anything. And then I received some floppies. Received uh, USA Language. And an ST, this is probably the one that actually originally came with it, USA Language one. And also Atari Advanced Hard Disk Utilities, which is probably that. And then some booklets, manuals, I'm not going to go through that stuff, you guys have probably all seen that. But I did get the user manual for the 1040 and the mega file, so cool. You know, I just need to find a cable now. So let's go ahead and mount the camera back up and just start it up to show. I think for 50 bucks, a uh, pretty good deal, especially if I can get the mega file to work. Video looks a little dark here, but let's go ahead and zoom. Turn on monitor. You kind of hear it go zoom. And I need to put a floppy in. I'm going to go ahead and put the mega and ST floppy in. Turn it on. Floppy's doing its thing. And voila, video. Let's move it a little closer. And it's a CRT, so you're probably seeing that black line moving slowly up and down. Uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. So let's, what I did before is, uh, so this is my mouse, so it does work. I've got video. I haven't played with any of these. Oh, I think there's over oh, here. Uh, oh, yeah. Stucker than stuck. There's some knobs down here, potentiometers for video. They're stucker than stuck. So, yeah, they would need some service to make things any brighter than that. Uh, let's go ahead and just double click on A. And I thought I would just bring up basic program because I wanted to see if I could type and to see if that six key worked. And it did which is cool. And so down here, syntax error, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that did it quite a few times, six. Oh, it's doing it twice. Six, 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 six. Okay, it seems to be doing a little better now. Probably if you're too close to the five, if you touch it. But it is working. Seven, eight, nine, zero. Return. So, yeah, it's working. 50 bucks. I say that's a steal of a deal. I can probably clean this up. At least it's a backup monitor in case I need it. I need to check the Megafile 30, see if I uh, can get that boot. And I need to go find a cable. I'll come back if I find one, but otherwise, there is my video for today. Thanks for watching, and I now have a 1040 STF Megafile 30.
and another SC1224 monitor. Yes!